Coming-of-age movies are a beloved genre, but many films centered on the LGBTQ experience of growing up still fly under the radar. This is unfortunate because representation can be an important lifeline for younger viewers struggling with their identity. Outside the positive impact these films have on society, they are also genuinely great movies that showcase the filmmaker's craft. A coming-of-age narrative does not necessarily have to center on teens or young people, but often does, as there is plenty of drama and discovery that occurs during that period of life. Falling in love can be one of the most defining experiences of growing up, as it's a big step emotionally and socially. Crush as more and more stories about Gen Z flood the media, Crush is a welcome addition that uses the themes of the use of technology and the sexual fluidity of the generation to its advantage. Following the development of the relationship between Paige, Rowan Blanchard, and AJ, Ollie Cravalo, is refreshing. The two characters are already out and not worried about being rejected due to their sexuality. Being queer is an important part of their identities, but it is not the only defining factor, and they have more reason to be together than simply being the only two LGBTQ plus students at the school. Crush makes the act of falling in love while queer a joyful and natural part of the teenage experience. Additionally, the film incorporates the other pitfalls of growing up like Paige committing herself to making art and being a good friend. Dating Amber is a period piece set in the 90s, which follows two Irish teenagers, Eddie, Finn O'Shea, and Amber, Lola Pettigrew, who pretend to be in a relationship. Both of the two leads are gay, but the time and place of their high school experience are not the most conducive to coming out. It's not an easy journey for either of them to open up to their parents and their community, and Eddie especially struggles with trying to repress his feelings. Though they both intend to leave their hometown to find a more accepting place to live, what truly matters is that they learn to accept themselves. Geography Club is based on Brent Hardinger's best-selling, critically acclaimed novel, What Am I Looking For?, asks 16-year-old Russell Middlebrook of himself as he heads off on his newest adventure. Russell is still going on dates with girls, while Kevin will do anything to prevent his football teammates from finding out what he is concealing. Min and Therese tell everyone they're really just good friends, and I can't figure out who he is or what he wants to be. But the truth is too hard to hide, at least from each other, so they form the Geography Club. Nobody else will discover the truth about them as no other students in their right minds would ever join a club that sounds so boring. Their secrets will be safe from classmates. Love, Simon is a 2018 American teen romantic comedy drama film directed by Greg Berlanti, written by Isaac Aptaker and Elizabeth Berger, and based on the novel Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. The film stars Nick Robinson, Josh Duhamel, and Jennifer Garner. It centers on Simon Spire, a closeted gay high school boy who struggles to balance his friends, his family, and the blackmailer threatening to out him to the entire school. While simultaneously attempting to discover the identity of the anonymous classmate with whom he has fallen in love online. Love, Simon is an amazing high school romantic comedy that I would highly recommend to anyone that loves romances. Booksmart is a 2019 American comedy film directed by Olivia Wilde. In her feature directorial debut, Before Graduation, best friends Amy and Molly realize that they have been cast aside by their peers for being bookworms and pretentious. They then decide to let loose and make up for the lost time. Despite Molly being class president, not popular with their peers, Amy has a crush on a girl named Ryan, which Molly urges her to pursue. On the eve of graduation, Molly confronts classmates insulting her bookishness, telling them she got into Yale, but they reveal that, despite their partying, they also got into prestigious colleges including Yale and elite job recruitments. Booksmart is a definite must-watch for its sweetness, creative humor, and strong storytelling. 
Boys is a 2014 Dutch made-for-television coming-of-age romantic drama film directed by Misha Camp Seeger, a 15-year-old athlete who trains for the national championship relay race, falls in love and struggles with his feelings in accepting this new relationship. Also notable about this film is how the fear of coming out for Seeger is not caused by some sort of externalized homophobia by other characters around him, but by his own internal fears. This adds to the very internal, self-awakening nature of the film. Seeger, who lives with his widowed dad and older brother, is less afraid of how they will react to his coming out than he is to living his truth, while not the most radical film, due to its wonderful direction and strong performances. It takes a well-worn story of self-acceptance and turns it into a beautiful piece of internal struggle. This movie definitely comes in my top 10 favorites of all time. The Way He Looks is a 2014 Brazilian coming-of-age romantic drama film written and directed by Daniel Ribeiro, based on his 2010 short film I Don't Want to Go Back Alone. The film stars Gilherm Lobo, Fabio Audi, and Tess Amarim, reprising their roles from the short. Leonardo, a visually impaired teenager, yearns for independence while dealing with an overprotective mother. But when he meets Gabriel, it turns his life upside down as he discovers himself. If you want to feel that, oh my god, I am in love for the first time feeling, hunt down a copy of this movie and fasten up your seat belt. Bean 17 is a 2016 French drama film directed by André Teshin follows the romantic and sexual awakening of two 17-year-old boys as their initial animosity, expressed in violence, morphs into love. Damien, a 17-year-old boy, learns about his sexual orientation after he finds himself attracted to Thomas, his classmate, when he comes to stay in his house for a brief period. The film's title is derived from the first verse of Arthur Rambeau's 1870 poem, Roman. This movie is affectionate, melodramatic, and intricate. Must watch this. Before we move to the next movie, here's some honorable mentions. The half of it is rarely talked about when it comes to LGBTQ plus cinema that Netflix distributed, but it's one of the best on the platform. Part of what makes the film so successful is how understated the performances and dialogue are. Just a few words of the script can communicate the ocean of feelings that Ellie, Leah Lewis, is experiencing. The writing provides many touching and relatable quotes in the half of it. Ellie and Paul, Daniel Deemer are in love with the same girl, Aster, but Paul doesn't know it. He just thinks Ellie's helping him win Aster over. What soon develops is a beautiful friendship that Ellie realizes is more important than the version of Aster she had made up in her head. It's a lesson in how, although fantasy is important and should be exercised, real-life relationships and connections come first. Moonlight is a 2016 American coming-of-age drama film written and directed by Barry Jenkins, based on Terrell Alvin McCraney's unpublished semi-autobiographical play in Moonlight Black Boys Look Blue. The film presents three stages in the life of the main character, his childhood, adolescence, and early adult life. It explores the difficulties he faces with his sexuality and identity, including the physical and emotional abuse he endures growing up. This is easily the heaviest film on this list. Oscar-winning Odyssey chronicles the journey of one young man growing up in the Miami projects as he grapples with his sexuality, poverty, as well as the meanings of life, love, and what it means to be a man. It's a tour de force from all parties involved, and one that should absolutely be required viewing. Well, that's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, 
click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this every week. Also check out our other videos as well. And I will see you soon in the next video within another topic.